What's going on guys? I'm back here with the Slash. We got the T-Sky uh, ESC in there. Uh, I got managed to get it to look okay. It's a, Like I said, it's a little big, but I still managed to get it in there. I told you because the wires are facing that way, right next to the motor. But I did manage to get it in there, and I think wire management isn't that bad looking, considering it had really long wires. I don't want to cut them. I'm just too lazy to do it. Um, I have to solder. I have to take one of my pills so I don't shake. I don't feel like doing that. So I just left the wires as is and just uh, folded them up. And it looks like everything's okay, guys. Um, let me see. I have this in my pocket. I'll show you guys the old ESC. So this is the one that burned. Man, she burned up good, too. Look at that. See, it even said 2 and 3S light bulbs on it. You can see it melted right here. Um, I'm not going to put the body on, guys. I'm probably not going to use this with the body until I use the ESC more than three times. Because uh, the last time, I think I could have avoided my battery getting destroyed if I would have just took the top off and pulled the battery off. Speaking of the battery, guys, check this out. Here's the battery. This is the battery that was in there. They got, remember how fat it was? It was really, really swollen. So I took it and I was going to dispose of it properly. You know, I was going to shoot a BB gun through, through here and let it catch fire and then put it out wrap it in something and throw it away you know um actually there's even a, a little place over here that you can throw away batteries they have a little um spot you just go and toss them in there and you could um but when i went back it was it was uh the plastic was all loose on it but the actual battery had shrank down to its normal size again uh, i don't know why that happened maybe because the heat the heat is what caused it to blow up. I don't think there was anything wrong with this battery. It still works. I tried it. It still works. It just needs another heat uh, heat shrink around it. But uh, this is the battery that we were using for it. And it got all fat and swollen. I forgot the name of it. But it's a, it's a really good battery. It was a really good battery. So I don't know. It might still work. I mean it does still work. I tried it. It works so this is the old esc which is garbage i uh took all the stuff i can off of it you know connections and stuff just so i could use them for something else uh, not the actual wires themselves just the the tips you know so let's go ahead and get this started guys all right so i got a 2s in there i'm not gonna go 3s today guys so uh it's gonna get a little boring without 3s but i guess we'll be all right you guys are more interested to see whether or not this ESC works. So uh, I programmed it, you guys were there, I have not went through it again. And uh, when I first used it, I connected it, but without any RC on, No, it wasn't connected to the car. It was just, I was just pressing the throttle like that, you know, without, it was just all wired up on the floor. And I noticed that when I pressed the trigger, it, felt slow but then it would go fast so it was already cogging it was already cogging and uh i'm telling you all the escs that i bought so far that are china escs they uh wow the screw feels a little loose there um the china ones that i buy they all cog when you buy them unless you change the start mode as soon as you change that start mode it stops cogging guys so if you're having those issues, it's, that's the reason why. I mean, if you if I didn't have the programming card, then I would just say the ESC is crap. The other one, this one, cogged uh, quite a bit until I programmed it. And this thing is really programmable. I was surprised because it's got a lot of settings like this. Um, another thing really quick. Um, somebody said in the comments that... Uh, that the manual that came with it isn't the one that works for it and that I was wrong or something and that isn't true um, it actually worked for it there are two different versions of this there's one with a bigger bigger power plug or on and off switch I should say 
and it has like a little button over here. That's the one where you need the hobby wing uh, manual. It will not work with the other manual I have. But this is the like lower end one, the one I wanted. I didn't want the hobby wing one. I wanted this one because I can program it with my card. Um, I know I looked into it. So I know. And a lot of times some people say things and they don't even own the product, you know. So I'll tell you like other YouTubers told me many times. If you don't have the product, then just be quiet. That's what people tell me. And, and it is true. I, I was talking about those arcade one-ups a long time ago. And uh, the guy was, I, I was like talking about them. Like they suck or they're not worth the money. And the guy was like, do you own one? And I said, no. And he said, then, what are you talking about? And it is true. It is true. It is. A lot of the gaming community, that's the kind of uh, mindset we have. If you don't own the product, then just be quiet. That's, you get in little arguments with people in the gaming community, and that's what we came up with. If you don't own it, then just be quiet. Then. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Turn this on. Okay, so it's got good power to the servo. Now let's check this. Alright, so it's all connected. Let's go and take it outside and see what it could do. Alright guys, I'm outside. Just right here up front. First place we're going to try this is in the grass. And we'll see whether or not it, it cogs. Okay guys? I think that's a good test to try. So let me go ahead and uh, try it out, see what it does. I do not know, guys. I didn't cheat and check. Wow. It's already flipping over already. That's normal for this RC. Let's go real slow in the grass. Someone asked me to do this. I asked him if I could use this. Oh, you seen that little bit of cogging there? So I could change the start mode a little bit higher than what it is. A little bit, but so far it's actually pretty good. Um, the other RC that I have cogs a little bit, but it's actually good because it saves the dips. Oh, come on, guy. But so far, it seems to be doing okay. I don't see anything that's like, you know, disturbing. That's going pretty slow. Yeah, when they cog, you can't even go slow. So that looks good. That doesn't look bad. Let's go try it over there. Let's try to get some speed out of this thing. All right, guys, so now we've got another test and uh, I. I like threw a bunch of my sweaters on the floor in the house and uh, try to mimic some rocks and stuff. And it kind of, it, it didn't cog me. I, I am gonna change the start mode though to about nine. I don't wanna flip it over. So I'm not gonna drive aggressively. Yeah, three wheel motion. This thing thinks it's uh, Impala doing three-wheel motion right there you saw that at least it's a low low or something so that's me going pretty slow right there I'm gonna go slower man all these cars just started coming So I think if I change the start mode just a little bit more, I'll get rid of any any type of cogging period. It's doing pretty good. Way better than expected. I had some guy uh, that commented. You guys could see the comments. He said he had his for two years. He only uses 2S though. But he said he had it for two years, guys. Two years. That 
I'm trying to go slower and slower. Oops. In the way again. And end up getting ran over. You know how people are insane now. All right, let's see. So many cars. And it's, it's awful bright today too. So it's hard to see. Brakes are okay. And remember guys, one more thing. So if you're buying this from eBay uh, or China, I'm telling you guys, when they don't work, you send them back, right? They either give you back your money or half your money, whatever. You know how eBay is. Okay, so... All right, that car ain't coming. So once they do that, they get it and resell it again and resell it again until they get rid of it. Someone doesn't return it. They don't care, you know? That's what they do. That's why you're always buying something broken from China. That's why I don't buy from China. Amazon China is a little bit better. It even came with a manual. If you look online or, I mean, on YouTube, everyone who opened up this ESC, they came with no manual. And at least this one came with a manual and it works with my programming card. It actually worked. Or else right now we would have some cogging going on. Not a lot, but I know we would for sure. Yeah, three wheel motion. Man, this thing still smells like smoke, guys. That thing was on fire like Mariah, that thing. I'm just happy that it's back. It looks okay too. Actually on the way over here some guy said some guy saw it, he liked it. He liked it the way it looked. And I'm telling you, they look good together. The wiring isn't so bad. I mean, I got it to look decent like the way I did the other one. And you guys think, I mean, in the comments, tell me if wire management looks good enough, guys. This is wire management. Right here. Oh, there comes a the car again. Let's go over here. So there's wire management there guys and I think it came out pretty good I'm actually a little bit happy with this guy it is a it's not hot but it is warm it is warm out here it's not too cold it feels like any ESC so far so I think this is pretty much the end of this one guys so I take it and uh, get my hat cam and we go and take it for a real drive you know comes another car but it, it did it came out pretty good I think it did just remember you're gonna need that program card I don't care if you're someone who messes around with brushless motors you need to buy the program card you cannot escape that don't try to be a cool guy and think you know I don't need a program card no you do you do that's why I bought mine. I actually bought mine when I didn't even have any brushless motors. Because I had bought one brushless motor and it was cogging. And uh, that was it. After that, I knew already that... Uh, I knew that, it, that I needed it. There's no way to get around it, guys. There's just no way to get around that. You, you need it in order for it to work right. But it looks like it's doing really good, guys. I'm really happy with it. I'm just glad it's back. Let's see. Uh, try to film a little bit like this. I can't see. It's so bright out here. Plus, I can't drive one-handed, guys.
Let's go back to the grass and then that's a wrap guys. See that? It's running through the grass, see? I even went through a hard spot to get out of, see? So I will leave a link guys to both of these. I gotta put the I gotta get the hat cam and then we'll do like a little speed test and I'm still gonna buy a GPS. There's a lot of things I need to buy. What I really want to do, guys, is start those giveaways again. So uh, actually, I'm ready. I am ready to start again. So uh, we'll be doing uh, two giveaways, and uh, the first one is going to be the drone. If you guys remember that one drone that I got from Target, I told you guys I was gonna give it away. So we'll do that one. That way, you guys can fly a drone for the summertime. Whoever wins it. And then we're going to do the, the over 2,000 sub giveaway. And that's a really nice transmitter with, uh, you know, wireless transmitter uh, with a screen on it. I forgot the name. of it. It's by Fly Sky. So uh, we'll be doing those giveaways and many more, guys. So stay tuned for that. And thanks a lot for watching. And I will leave the link for both products. Thanks a lot.